So I'm delighted to have the results today of an approval for a project that has been in the making for less than 10 years, an amazing process. Uh, uh, there's never been a development process this exciting that's moved this quickly before. Spinal muscular atrophy is a disorder, uh, a genetic disorder that affects the motor neurons and hence makes babies and children weak for a lifetime. And it's an unusual disorder because it has a wide range. There are babies that can't breathe their first breath, and there are adults who complain only that they can't go up the stairs as quickly as they want to, and every gradation in between those two. It's all caused by a single gene defect called spinal muscular, uh, SMN, but it's uh, uh, quirky or odd in that the, the, the way the gene is broken allows for this wide range. The breakthrough we have today is right at the level of that protein. We can make protein in bodies in a way that wasn't possible before. MDA, along with several other organizations, has had a key role in the early preparative phases of this, in, in learning about the basic biology and learning about how we might uh, modify this. Uh, uh, also, the, the more difficult areas, how do you measure the disease? How do you measure progress if you've made it? These are these, these uh, early phase things that, that can only be paid for by organizations dedicated to SMA itself, after which the companies can, can take this preparative work and, and, and run with it.